I'm Michelle Fugger, and this here is my husband, Jim Bob Fugger, and this is going to be a documentary about our life as the average Canadian hillbilly. Hi, as you may know, I am Michelle Fugger. Well, as I said before, we are an average hillbilly family. Some of the <coughs> things most people think about hillbillies is that we eat possum. But let me tell you something. We do not eat possum every day. Anyways, my husband, um, Jim Bob, you saw him too. He is not really your average, uh, you know, hillbilly man. He designs wedding dresses. Most hillbilly men go hunting. Some of them are deodorant salesmen, even though they don't even wear it. As I was saying, my baby, you see, I was found out I was pregnant three months ago, and it's already this big. So she is due any time now. But I started getting very, very fat. So I went to the doctor, and they told me, you are going to have a baby, which I didn't know. So, yes. Yeah. Anyways, it is going to be a girl. But I didn't, they didn't tell me that. They, they, they didn't tell me because, um, well, I just know it's going to be a girl. Because, uh, if it's not a girl, it's going to be a girl. If it was a girl, I could put it in pageants, it could get all beautiful, and she could have those big fancy dresses that I never got to wear when I was a kid. Do all the things those girls love to do. Wear makeup, get their hair did get their nails did, and stiff their bra. Because you gotta start at a young age when you're a hillbilly. You just have to. So, yeah. But, oh, if it was a boy, if this was a boy, I don't, I'd still put him in pageants because he could be a homosexual. Because that would work, too. So, yeah, Michelle probably already told you, I'm a wedding dress designer. Um, I've worked with the best, Vera Wang, some other Asian ladies. I'm also a makeup designer. I do drag queens. I do, I do everything, you know, as I said. I'm going to talk about now something that I think is very important and is dear to me. It is moisturizing. I moisturize two, sometimes three times a day. And I tell Michelle, it is so important to moisturize. The only part of her she actually moisturizes is her little offspring growing thing out of her body. Because she wants it to be a girl for some reason. She says she'd be okay with a bisexual man. So, I have a secret. I used to be bisexual. So that's the secret. Cut that out. Possum, I don't like it. I'd rather be eating gourmet meals with the queen. Eyebrows, as you can see, I've got some nice ones here. They're very important to wax and keep up to date and all that stuff. So I tell Michelle, you know, she has, they have a mind of their own, her eyebrows, you know. They're like caterpillars that have babies, that have babies that had grandbabies on her face. She said that she likes to be natural and beautiful, but it didn't seem too natural to me when she was getting that breast, big breast implant thing. You know, that's not natural. That's not beautiful. They're nice, but they're not natural. Girls, I don't get what, who's she trying to kid saying they're natural, they're not natural. These are natural. Well, I've been keeping a terrible secret. Well, actually, it's not terrible. It's the best uh, secret I've ever sunk in my head. Well, it it's not the first time I've done this. I've done it a few times before for all my other 19 children. Because, well, I'm scared of giving birth. Because I don't want to lose my perfect figure, as you can see. So, I started this plan that instead of having a real child, and you know all those things that can happen with child, they can get all these big words that I don't know how to pronounce or how to spell. So, this is not a real baby in here. This is a little towel I wrapped up and stuck in here that I found at the dollar store. 
Okay. What I do is uh, when we're at the hospital and uh, I tell them I have to go to the bathroom before I give birth, I sneak into the incubator thing where they keep all the newborn babies. <coughs> I snatch one, stick it under my belly, and yell, Snatch and run, mofo! And I run like hell. But it, I take the towel out by then and I stick them in there. They can't tell because the uh, Jim Bob, he's looking all googly eyed and pink cheeked into that Dr. Woods's face. I should know his name. I've been there 19 times. So they never caught on once. And I've done it 19 times. And this will be my 20th. Hi. So, um, I just heard Michelle go into the washroom. And I'm pretty dang sure she's doing her hourly shaving. So the producers, um, they asked me to get a little, a little bit of a, a video, a snippet, a sneak peek behind the scenes video of her, um, doing this regimen. So I'm just going to show you if I can get in there, you know. She doesn't like it, but I'm sure she won't mind. It's for the camera. Tomorrow, how many goddamn times have I told you, do not come in this bathroom when I'm shaving my mustache. You know I like my privacy. Get out. I can see you. Ow. I'm trying to leave you in the way, Michelle. Hey, there's something on your mustache. Let me see that. Let me see that. Oh, it's right. It's right here. It's right. Oh, oh, you can't grow a mustache.